Okay, so um, last class, what do we do? We did um, a normal question for bab 8, which is the account berdagangan, account untung rugi, and penyata kedudukan kewangan. Alright, after that, okay, I took some questions from the workbook, and then we did this. Okay, the journal arm, uh, bagaimana merekod uh, penutupan account, okay, uh, dengan catatan journal arm. Okay, this is what we did in last class. Okay, so now in this class, okay, we continue be using our workbook. All right, so we done the question thirty. Now I want you guys to look at question thirty one on page 172 uh, on your form for workbook. All right, so this question 31 is to tutup semua account, account hasil dan belanja. Very good. So it's very simple. We just have to tutup, but uh, tutup sekarang bukan the tutup that you did before, the HP and BB punya tutup. Okay, bukan check up or oh, you HP then handa ke bawah bawah ke bawah. Does it no? This one we change the HP to the account that kita nak handa tu. So for account belian kita handa ke mana? Handa ke account perdagangan. Therefore here we put it into account perdagangan. Alright, so let's start to do it. Uh, Page one seven two. We are doing question thirty one. Okay, question thirty one. As you can see, so now. All right, let's start from account belian dulu. Too much. Then RM, RM, this is... um. 2022. Okay, so account so all this you can just copy into your uh ledger. All right, so January 31 account balloon buyer 2240. Three twenty two, I'm gonna two four zero. Okay, all right. So, uh, here you don't copy first, huh? So here normally what we do is at least like we skip the line, then you double line, one line double line. The plus two, you see which size is bigger. Like that. So two two four zero. So two two four over here. Then here will be the same amount of two. And then this one missing something, my right? 240 plus upper equals to this jumla. So you minus la. Here's the jumla. Total the 240, you will get 2000. So this 2000, what we normally do is kita baki handa ke bawah. And then there is a BB. Yeah. Although, so this one we bring down to February 1. So this is what we did for the ledger dalam bab 5. But now something a bit different is there is no BB and HP because sekarang kita nak uh, menyediakan account ni kepada uh, penyata kewangan. Okay, we want to prepare penyata kewangan. Hence we have to we have to hantar amount ini to mana? Account perdagangan for Berlin. So here, should we put account perdagangan? 
of it. So this one will be on the January 31st last week. See, so now you have to know which one does this record in? Is it in account perdagangan? Is it in account dungi? All right. So next, we go to Jalan. So it's the same thing. So it's very simple, actually. Okay, so here is account Jalan now, right? Okay, so account Jalan here uh, on the credit side, like Gen 10, you got 2.9, 2.9, account balloon, Five hundred one four eight five eight nine zero. All right, so Jan ten fifteen thirty one. So here empty, so here got figure mark sweetness, sini a bit bizarre. What you got to do is everything jumla summer. So here, do it. What is this one? Jalan handa ke mana? Ke account berdagangan. So here you put account berdagangan. Yeah. Then same thing. January 31st, account belum bayar. By the way, this is a pulangan belian. Okay, pulangan belian. January 31st, account belum bayar 240. Where does this pulangan belian hantar tu? Dia hantar, dihantarkan kepada akaun berdagangan juga. So here we do 40. January 31st. And then next, akaun pulangan belian, pulangan jalan. So account balloon very much 180. So here will be 180. Here 180. So here will be 180 also lah, right? So normally it's HBBB, but here pulangan jalan handa to account berdagangan. Uh, Okay, the past two account kaji. This is a very simple, straightforward exercise. All right, so this is um January twenty six. Here put bank eight thousand six hundred. So here will be. 8,006 also, right? Jumla. And here, the Jumla 8,006. Here will be 8,600 also. So, January 1st. So now, for gaji, mana kita letak gaji? Which penyata keuangan? The answer is, account untung lagi. So, right, I told you for, for account berdagangan, for, Four main thing, jualan, okay, jualan, ada jualan, pulangan, jualan, belian, pulang, pulangan, belian, then inventory, inventory awal, inventory akhir, lastly the Audi. Angkutan masuk, upah atas belian, duty import, in, uh, insurance atas belian, this whole thing. Right, other than for this gaji, will be in account to be. 
so actually we are Next. Okay, after that will be angkutan masuk. Ah, angkutan masuk. So you have to think where to put this account angkutan masuk. All right. So, uh, first copy January. Then did nine five hundred and then. Okay. Can you see? So here will be five hundred. Okay. Let's do this first. Five hundred. Okay. So here will be five hundred also lah. Okay. Now you have to ask yourself, where do I put this? Uh, angkuta masuk. So just I just mentioned, angkuta masuk is one of the Audi. And where do we put this Audi? Audi is in account for the So here account for the okay. So next account discount. Is delivery. Copy. Okay. Two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty. Here, same 220. So, discount delivery is a belanja. So, the belanja will be in the account already. Okay. Then, discount determiner, same thing, will be in the account already. Yeah. But then, account de discount determiner is a hasil. Account belum bayar. Okay, three twenty. Here be three twenty. This is the three twenty. So ini account untuk rugi. Then account insurance. Insurance January twenty bank thousand two hundred. Thousand two hundred. Thousand two hundred. Thousand two hundred. And this is January thirty first. Okay, insurance a belanja belanja into account only. So other than the four things in the account perdagangan, the rest will be in the account only. That's the uh technique lah, right? The concept. So a lot to list. January ten to nine hundred thirty. So hundred thirty. Bring down here, down here. So up here. So 
130 sent to account untung rugi. Okay, so that's it. So this is the answer for question 31. Are you guys done? If yes, give me a yes in the chat box. So that's done. If you are done, you give me a yes. If you haven't yet, then uh, you continue. Okay, so account commission determine. Oh, this one should be commission. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Aina. Commission determine. So, Trinity, yeah. Okay, I give you three minutes. Okay to complete it until 9.50, all right? Okay, are you guys done? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box or done in the chat box. Only one person, two person. The rest haven't yet. Uh. Is it a lot? Okay, slowly. Yes, I'm getting it done. Okay. I give you one last minute okay so for those that are already done okay you try to do account perdagangan and account untung rugi based on here All right so here you can actually do account perdagangan and account untung rugi using bentuk t here we use bentuk t to do this question Right. Actually, this is done already based on the question. Okay. But just that, uh, you know, I want to show you something. So uh, we do extra like uh, account bedangan and account untung rugi on it. Some of this is a uh, bab lapan. Yeah, bab seven. Sorry, bab seven. So 
uh, it's good that we know how it goes or how it forms the account berdagangan and also the account untung rugi. And it's actually from here. All right. So, is everyone done? I guess so. Okay. So, now, so after you know that all this is to account berdagangan, account berdagangan, berdagangan untung rugi, okay? So now let's do the uh, account untung rugi. Now this one, just bring it back down. Okay. So maybe I'll just do my account perdagangan somewhere here. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there is then name for this um no name right okay then is alright then we just straight away do the account berdagangan okay. Perdagangan bagi tahun berakhir thirty first January January twenty twenty two. Yes. Nice. Okay. Give me leisure. Give me leisure. Now, look at Berlin. So, if you look at account Berlin, here kita telah credit Berlin. Can you see like this account Berlin is in the credit side of Berlin. So, we see kita telah credit Berlin. So, lepas kita credit Berlin, we must debit account Berlin. So, here, we have to debit here. Account Berlin. So, here, Berlin. See, but then, uh, two thousand. Because in this question, there's no inventory. Okay, there is no inventory, so supposedly it should be like that. So much um, uh, invent. Uh, sorry, here will be the cost challenge. Is it? If you remember the formula, then here will be the inventory hour. Then here, but then here is zero, my right? So maybe I'll just put like that. Okay. So then this is a Berlin. All right. Okay. Then look at the account jalan. You see, uh, the account berdagangan is in the debit side of the account jalan. So now in the account berdagangan, we must credit. Uh. You see? So here. Jalan, how much? Two eight seven five. Okay. Now look at this pulangan belian. So this pulangan belian, you see the account berdagangan is in the debit side of your pulangan belian. So by right, we should put pulangan belian here. Not jalan ah, belian ah. Okay, something like this. 240. Okay. But the problem is, if we put like that, then kita akan tambah. That makes sense. Why do you want to use jualan plus pulangan belian? That's why the pulangan belian has to be forced to come to here. So when you force from positive, come to the other side, that's why it becomes a minus here. Pulangan belian. You see it? Can don't write. Can don't write inventory. I will straight away write Berlin. Yes, can. Okay, so this one I just show you only. Okay, but then if in real exam, right, this one you can actually skip it and straight away write like this. Also can. Okay, all right. So take note. Huh? So this is the inventory. I will just to show you that. Uh, the format is like that. Okay, so you either invented our 
then you berlian tolak pulangan berlian plus audi then you you tambah your inventory awal then you tolak your inventory akhir that's the normal one okay but here because there's no inventory awal in the question mah all right so you can see there's no inventory awal the other inventory akhir that's why we can straight away skip that and do berlian like this okay you can do like this also okay all right, so come back to this bulangan bulan. Therefore, here we put it to the other side, so it becomes a minus two hundred forty. That's how you get it. Yeah, so there's no bulangan bulan here. Shouldn't be here. You see? It? All right, so then you minus. It becomes a. Berlin Bersi. You see? Okay. Now, let's continue. After pulangan berlin, you go pulangan joint. So, pulangan joint is the same concept. Can you see? Account pulangan is in the credit side of your pulangan joint. So, if you credit your pulangan joint, then I have to debit my perdagangan. So, actually, pulangan joint should be here. But, again, that makes sense. All right. Pulangan joint. So, we put the joint together. Therefore, the pulangan joran is forced to come here. And because here is positive, when you change side, it becomes a minus pulangan joran. Okay. Then, uh, pulangan joran, how much? Two, sorry, here. 180. Minus 180. So what you get, you get your, this amount is actually this one. Hey, sorry, uh, I think I something got wrong. This one is wrong figure. This one minus 240. Yeah, you get 1760. So this is your, uh, trial and basila. Okay, but then uh, you don't put it here first. Okay, you just put like that first. Then pulangan jualan lepas so ada lagi tak yang dalam account berdagangan? Kaji bukan no? ah account ah angkutan masuk right? So angkutan masuk si saya telah credit my angkutan masuk my account berdagangan here mah. So saya telah credit angkutan masuk. So if I credit angkutan masuk, I have to debit my account berdagangan here debit side. So here I have to add. My angkutan masuk. How much is my angkutan masuk? 500. So here credit, debit, 500. Okay, then I think that's all in the account perdagangan. Can you see other account perdagangan? The rest is like untung rugi, untung rugi, untung rugi dah. Alright, so there is no account perdagangan anymore. So what we can do now is you skip a line. Okay, you skip a line here, you put one line double line. Okay, and then you see which side is bigger. Is it this side? I add and see first. This is 2260. Here is 2695. Of course, it's 2695. Let me All right now. So 2695, 2695. All right. So if this is 2695, all right, okay, wait, here I think I have to pull down a few more. So here you draw the line first. So here goes how much? 2260, this is your cost draw line. All right, so this is your cost jalan lah. So ini minus your cost jalan, it goes to how much? 2695 minus 220, 2260, you get 435. So this 435 will be your untung kasar. Is it? 
So this is like your tray is your John number C. Lah. Right, John number C, you put down here. Then you put here because this figure is bigger. So you put here. Then this one, you minus your cost your line. You get your untung kasa in 435. So after you get your 435, now if you want to do our account untung rugi, boleh lah, boleh. Account. Untung rugi bagi tahun berakhir 31 Januari 2022. Okay. Okay, so first thing. This is untung kasar, you let us dulu. So here is in the debit, you bring down, it becomes on the credit side. So the untung kasar is on the credit side. Same, 435. So far, you guys following? If yes, you give me an F in the chat box if you're following. All right. Okay, very good. So this is to show you how they do the bentuk T. Can you see it? So because uh, on the first class, we learned about the format for account perdagangan, account untung dugi punya, bentuk T. But we never know how they, they go from ledger to the account T. Lah. So this is how they do it. All right? Okay. So here, now you just look for all the untung dugi. Lah. All right? So uh, this, this is for perdagangan, 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 perdagangan. Now, untung rugi. Can you see now? So the account untung rugi is in the debit side of your gaji. Here. In the, sorry, in the credit side of your gaji. This is credit. So you credit gaji. So if you credit gaji, dalam account untung rugi, kita mesti debit. So here, gaji. How much? Eight six zero zero. Okay, then after gaji will be I'm gonna masuk. I'm gonna masuk is the berdagangan tadi sudah. Then discount delivery, accounting rugi mana? Credit side. So if you credit your discount delivery, then I have to debit my untung rugi. So here you put discount. Dibury. Two hundred twenty. All right here, here. Satu debit side, satu credit side. Okay, then next commission determiner. So see, your untung rugi is in the debit side of your commission determiner. All right, the debit side of your commission determiner. So if you debit your commission determiner, you have to credit your untung rugi. So commission determiner. How much commission determiner is 320, 320. Okay, so the past commission determiner, insurance. So see. Your untung rugi is in the credit side of your insurance. So if you credit insurance, you have to debit your untung rugi. So insurance. Insurance, 1,200. Okay. Account alat tulis. So alat tulis, untung rugi is in the Credit side of your alert list. So if you credit your alert list, you have to debit your untung rugi alert to this. 1200. Wait, see. No, I'm going to get the right. See? So after that, Normally, we skip one line, then one line double line. Okay, then we see. You use your calculator and add up everything here and see which side is bigger. So, definitely, I think here is bigger, right? 
is like 10,150. Sini hanya 755 only. Is it? So here's 10,000. So here, so here equals to this one minus this one minus this county terminal. And we get um 9395. Now this one, now this figure is in the credit side. Maksudnya, this will be your rugi bersih. Is it? So if it is on the debit side, here will be untung. If it is on here, will be this one will call a rugi kasa. This one will be called a rugi bersih. Okay. So this is how you do this. Are you guys clear? If yes, you give me a C in the chat box, you are clear. All right? Yeah, then I'll give you another three minutes, quickly finish this up until 9.10. Yeah, and then nine ten. So after you're done, you give me a done D O N E in the chat box. Done, you are done. Okay, one more minute. If you haven't done, quickly finish it up. So for those that are already done, try to do this question. Okay, question 32 on page 173. Okay, try this question. So, anda dikendaki merekodkan semua urus niaga di atas ke dalam akaun yang terlibat dan menutup. So, menutup meaning you have to send to the account penyata kewangan. Either account perdagangan atau account untung rugi atau penyata kedudukan kewangan. Alright. So, here dia telah bagikan uh, kamu baki. So, this is the baki. For the first February 2022. So, this is apa yang berlaku sepanjang bulan February 2022. Okay. So, let's do this. Question 32. So, let's book a account bank dulu. Okay. Mereka kan semua usaha ke. Semua urus negatif di atas. Okay, so meaning all the account yang berkaitan. Okay, so uh, let's go, let's buka baki dulu. Okay, so one, two, four. Okay, this is it. So we actually use what we learned before, which is daripada bab lima. Okay, ledger. 
So if you don't study Bab Lima Leje, then of course you can't do this kind of question. This is in Bab Tuju. Tapi kita masih guna konsep daripada Bab Lima. Alright. So account bank. Malaysia, Ringgit Malaysia, 2022, 2022. Okay, then this is a bank, 2,600 in the debit, so 2010, sorry, 26,000. So this one on February 1, see, February 1. So this one is your Baki Awa, Baki Bibi. So something same thing for your uh, account belum terima. June and the price. Okay, same in the debit side, right? So this is an ABT is a asset. And AB is a liability. So asset, I believe. Remember it. So asset is in the debit side. That's why all this Baki BB is in the debit side. So here for your ABT June enterprise, 2680 While for ABB, I can't Oh, belum bayar pembekal amran. Account belum bayar pembekal amran. So, can you see it? It is in the credit side. And if they don't give debit or credit, what we use, we use our abalim, L for liability. And liability is in the, can you see, is in the credit side. And it's here. February one three four five zero. Okay. So after you put in all the baki, now let's look at February two. So February two, can you see it? What is this? This is leisure. Apa yang kita telah belajar dalam bab lima. Okay. So jualan tunai di bankan. So, always remember dalam urus niaga mesti ada dua account. Satu account untuk didebitkan, another account untuk dikreditkan. Okay? Must have at least two accounts. So, now let's see what accounts involved here. So, jualan tunai. So, when you see jualan, then tunai. So, this is jualan, you jual barang niaga secara tunai. Tapi, tunai ini telah dibankkan. Can you see or not? So you you draw at first. Let's say you sell your calculator. Your satu pembekal you you sell calculator to your customer. After you draw customer buyer dengan cash. So saya dapat tunai. Lepas tunai ini saya bagi bank bank in into my bank account. So here maksud if I want to debit and credit, the money comes in. Betul tak? Money comes in. When money comes in, I have to debit. Okay, so I debit account bank because the bank gun. So I debit account bank sini. So February dua. So money ini from where? Duit wang ini dari mana? Dari pada jualan. Because you jual barang. So here is you letak dalam account jualan. 1200. So if you have a jualan, you mention jualan, maksudnya I have to book up account jualan lah. So, tadi saya debit bank, so I have to credit jualan. Boleh faham tak? If yes, give me an F in the chat box if you faham. 
So this one I already taught you guys before in Bab Lima. If you still remember. Very simple thing. Okay, so you can see debit, bank, and credit jualan. Okay, next. B. Mengeluarkan wang dari bank untuk kegunaan keluarga. You mengeluarkan wang daripada bank untuk kegunaan keluarga. So, when you mengeluarkan wang, maksudnya keluar. Keluar dalam account means credit. So, you credit your bank. So, account bank, you credit. So, in the credit side, February 8. Okay. Untuk apa? Kegunaan keluarga. So, when you see untuk kegunaan keluarga, personally use, kegunaan sendiri, kegunaan anak, kegunaan keluarga, you have to send it to account ambilan. So, this one you put in the ambilan. 500. So, here you credit your bank. So, you have to book a satu account ambilan. Because ada ambilan. So, you put account Ambilan. So you credit bank. You have to debit ambilan sekarang. Dari bank. 500. Is it? So done. Number 8. So go to 12. Menjelaskan semua hutang pembekal Amran. Pembekal Amran. Dengan check. Check means bank. Dan menerima discount 250. Okay, but then they didn't show how much. So you have to do your own calculation. Alright. How much you love ABB pembekal Amran? 3450. Oh. Okay. And then they check up menerima discount 250. So you minus 250. This is how much? 3,200. So this is the discount. So selepas discount, ada hutang 3,200 ringgit. And this 3,200 ringgit, they check up apa? Menjelaskan semua hutang. Meaning, ini 3,200, kita akan bayarkan dengan apa? Dengan check. Can you see it? So therefore, in the ABB account here, alright, so when you have discount, menerima discount, discount diterima, here. Every 12, discount diterima. 250. So you can see that we do that something like this. 3,450, 3,450, this 3,450, minus 100, uh, sorry, 250, you get 3,200. Means it, this 3,200, you can buy it in a check. So you put the bank. So there are two accounts here. So you ready, debit? ABB dengan discount diterima. So, I have to buka satu account discount diterima. Account discount diterima. And discount diterima is a hasil. And that's why it's, it will be in the credit side. You see, here you debit ABB, you have to credit your discount diterima. February 12 from ABB Pembekal Amran. So I just put ABB ya. Pembekal Amran. How much? 250. So this is for this kind of terima. Okay, the next thing will be for the bank. So you telah debit ABB because of bank. So dalam account bank awak, you must decredit. Because you buy them, so whenever you buy 3200 you must decredit your bank. Because you are the buyer. So this is 12. Buyer kepada ABB. Pembekal. Amran. 
3,200. So, figure you take from here. 3,200, 750, into. So, add up. It's just you boleh tutup ABB because you already menjelaskan hutang. Okay, then we go to 18. You buy a kada bayaran dengan check dengan check means bank. So when you buy a your one keluar, when your one keluar keluar in account means credit. So you credit your account bank. Is it? So here, which date? 18. So you buy a untuk apa? You keluar ke kada bayaran. 640. So if you credit your bank, you must need debit your card buyer. So I have to book a to account card buyer. So that is I have credit my account bank. So I debit card buyer 640. So debit bank. 640 on 18 February. Is it very simple? Simple stuff. So last one, 22. Membeli barang niaga dengan cek. Beli barang niaga, beli barang niaga, barang niaga je lah. Belian. Okay, dengan cek means bank. Okay, so when you beli barang, when you buy thing, you go to shopping mall, you go to 7-Eleven, apabila kamu beli, wang itu keluar, wang keluar means credit. You have to credit your bank lagi. Okay, so now you credit your bank first. On 22nd. To where? You beli apa? You beli barang niaga, barang niaga dalam accounting word. The term for account ialah account bolehan. So, you put bolehan. So, 2,320. So, when you mention bolehan, you must book a account bullion. So account bullion. Account bullion. So you credit bank, then you debit bullion two three two zero. Oh. So here you put bank two three two zero. Oh. On 22nd. Okay. So, that's it. On 22nd. So, after that, see, you merekorkan semua urus niaga di atas ke dalam account. So, meaning yang terlibat. So, all this account. So, this account. Lepas tu, dan tutup semua akaun yang terlibat. So, when you tutup, maksudnya, you have to send to the penyata kewangan. Alright? So, let's start from the top. So, for account bank now. For past, these two questions, question 30 and question 31, you can see that all this belian, you go to account perdagangan, uh, account, like, account gaji, this one, you go to account untung rugi. But then we haven't done one that is for PKK, Penyata Kedudukan Kewangan. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to record for the PKK. And surprisingly, for PKK, how we're going to record is, you see this way, how I record. So same, one line, double line. Then you see which size is bigger. Lah. Of course, you add up, I think the debit side will be bigger. Okay, then it's the same thing. So here will be, you know, like this one minus semua lah. Semua benda uh, from here to here lah. Okay. So 20,540. So here, you might think, oh, so maybe we hantar to penyata kedudukan kewangan. Betul tak? Macam ni, salah. So for PKK, kita use back the Baki HPBB. Why? Why we use that? Okay, when you have HB, that's when you hit first, then you have PB. So now, that will explain much. Why we have all these 
Baki. So if you go to form five, well, you see that like some questions they give you Baki on the top. But then for all the Belanger, uh, uh, Belanger, all the Hasil, they put it kat bawah in the bank. Why? Because this, that's why here kita ada Baki awal and Baki akhir for asset saja for liability and equity pemilih. Asset, liability, and equity pemilih. Only these three things are the baki awal dan baki akhir. Have you noticed? Okay, like all the kenderaan, perabot. Okay, all these kita ada baki awal, baki akhir. But then, for gaji, for for kada bayaran, mereka tak ada baki baki awal atau baki akhir. You see? So, that's why all this account belian, oh, sorry, bukan account belian, account bank lah, all this asset lah, Mesti, when you tutup, you tutup as HP and BB. Okay, same goes for this ABT. ABT is an asset, so you, when you tutup, HP and BB. HP, then back BB. Six eight zero. So this one is February. Last date of February will be twenty eight. All right, twenty eight. Yeah, okay, I'm going to put twenty. Okay, sorry, twenty eight. So then here will be March, lah. Can you see? So HBBB. Then this account belum bayar tak perlu dah, because sudah tutup. Can you see? Just now kita telah jelas ABB, so tak perlu. Then for account jualan, same thing. So account jualan is to account perdagangan, then you put account perdagangan. Is it? Perdagangan. 1200. So actually, you can just tutup like this, also can. No problem. Macam ni. Okay, so you want to use study punya macam uh, account jualan, is my account jualan. Yeah, here. Okay, or this one like that. Or you share away double line faster lah, okay? You can save paper or save space, save ink. All right, February 28. Then ambilan. Okay, now this account ambilan. So this account ambilan is a bit, um, how do I put it? A bit different, so you have to send it to. I was not sure for this account, be done. So long time haven't did this one. Okay, let me think first. I'll give me some time. So account be done in the equity per million. So in the equity per million, you bring it there. Okay, so um. But then you never have a Baki HP or BB in your ambulance. So at the end, you still go to the model. But then the model, okay, never mind. You just put HP and BB. Okay, I'll just go and check it later. Okay, so HP and BB. Or you can leave it empty first for now. Okay, later I go and check the, how they record it. Okay, but then for this kind of terima is a what? A hasil. So you put here, then this one hasil ma hasil is to account untung rugi lah. So 250. Last date, February 28. Then kada bayaran, all this is like um what your belanja, belanja account rugi lah. Six hundred forty. So all this is to tukan. Double line. February twenty eighth. 
Okay, then Berlian. Berlian is to your account perdagangan. So, account perdagangan. So, 2,320 double line. So, this is February. Okay. Okay, so you guys complete it. Meanwhile, I'll go and check for the ambulance. All right. Question thirty two. Let's see what the answer say for Ambulan. Double confirm Ambulan. Yeah. Okay, so the answer say that the Ambulan is HP and BBO. So yeah, so I'm right. Okay, so here you just talk about February twenty eight. So uh, HB, BB, the next date will be after February 28 will be March Sabtu. Okay, so are you guys done? If done, give me a D-O-N-E done. So this is a very simple exercise. Uh, so it's like uh, you just do back the practice on ledger. After ledger, you just tutup and hanta to the penyata kewangan. Ada PKK, account perdagangan, account untung rugi. So the PKK one, you don't have to write penyata kedudukan kawan. All you need to do is just to put the HP and BB. That's it. Okay. The rest done. If done, you give me a D O N E done. Okay, I'll give you another one minute. Okay, so that's all. Then let's like it. So, last question. You so have plenty of time. So for those that have already done, try question three, this one. Okay, if you have done, try question three. So I give you another one minute for those that haven't done this part. This one is just to to top side, you're very simple. Okay. Okay, uh, to 9.36, okay, 9.36. So if you have done, you try question three. So this is simple account berdagangan yang untung rugi. Then you have to do it in bentuk pernyata. Okay, so we try to complete this as fast as possible because it's very simple question. It's straightforward question. So you can actually do it uh, very quick. All right, okay. 936, let's go. Question three. Okay. 
So, account berdagangan dan account untung rugi. Alright. Then, here is the the info, the imbangan juga. Then, here dia cakap inventory pada 31st December 2020 adalah 10,930 pada harga kos. And then, 11,250 pada harga pasaran. So, this is your inventory IQ. So, now I already told you before, when you want to choose the figure, the, the cost bagi inventory IQ, we take the amount yang terendah, the lowest amount. So, here will be the 10,930. So, this will be your inventory IQ. That applies to every question. Take the lowest amount of inventory IQ. All right. Then, after that, from here, so this one you record in the account perdagangan. Account perdagangan. Betul tak? Gaji is a untung rugi. You are. Sewa you are. Alat tulis you are. Duty import. Duty import is one of the RD. So this is in the perdagangan. T. Belanja kenderaan. Untung rugi. Kadar bayaran. Untung rugi. Insurance. Untung rugi. Commission, untung rugi. ABT dan ABB is a asset dan liability. So, it will be in the PKK. Alright, prime is also PKK. Kenderaan, alatan pejabat, tunai, ambulan, modal. All this is PKK. Alright, then lastly, pulangan. Pulangan will be in the perdagangan lah. Okay, so now let's do it. Three. So this is the name Warden Trading. Uh, account okay now here the thing is they mix together can you see it now account perdagangan dan untung rugi and most of the question in your exam they will like they will love not only like they love to mix them perdagangan dan untung rugi but then nothing change it's just that you, you combine them together only alright so don't be panicked Tahun bagi tahun berakhir 31st December 2020. So just copy and take note. This is a bentuk penyata. Alright. So ringgit Malaysia, ringgit Malaysia, ringgit Malaysia. Okay. So in your account perdagangan, okay. On top of course perdagangan. So sorry, perdagangan dia untung rugi. So let's start with perdagangan dulu. So dalam akaun perdagangan, the first thing must be the jualan. So how much is your jualan? So you put here, your jualan is a here. Can you see or not? Your pelayan dan jualan. So the jualan is always on the credit side. Manakala the pelayan is always on the debit side. Okay? So if you can identify that the burden is on the debit, journey is on the credit, then when they give you a pulangan, how you're going to do is you cross. So, maksudnya, if this is a jualan, you cross under here, you, because the pulangan is always the contra of the jualan at the burden, meaning they are opposite. Okay? So, if jualan is on the credit, then maksudnya, the pulangan here is a, actually a pulangan jualan, 630. And there is no pulangan brilliant. Are you guys clear? If yes, you give me a C in the chat box. If you are clear. All right. Okay, good. Okay, so kita ada pulangan jualan lah. So this tells that. So the jualan is 88,673. Then you tolak your pulangan jualan. So your pulangan jualan, you bracket because it is a minus 630. So how much do you get? Minus 630, you get 88,043. This is your jualan bersih.
Okay, then you minus your cos jawline. So your cos jawline must be at the inventory hour. Okay, most of this question must be at the inventory hour than ask you. It's just that tali bunya soalan, we did just now the other inventory, right? Because that one is just a small, like, because the, the purpose of that question is just to close. Menutukan accounts saja. They didn't intend to do account perdagangan dan untung rugi. That's why they didn't give the inventory. But then this kind of question, they always will give inventory bunya. So no worries. Okay, so inventory awal. So what is the inventory awal? Always take the inventory daripada imbangan duga. Can you see or not? The inventory sini mesti is the inventory awal. The inventory IQ mesti kat luar sini. Alright, so inventory awal 12,500. Okay, then your belian. Do we have belian? Pulangan belian? Tak ada. So your belian, you still will put uh, this one 50,570. Because there is no pulangan belian, then we can skip pulangan belian then. Kita perlu tambah Audi if we have Audi. Tapi tadi kita telah tengok, okay, we already saw that there is a duty import. So kita terus tambah duty import. This is the Audi. Do we have other Audi? Duty import. So we see, we look at the P. This is a pulangan. Tadi sudah record. Any other P or not? Uh, but then you no. Okay. So you tamba your duty import. How much is your duty import? The duty import is um, 9,500. Okay. 9,500. So you add up. Put here lah. Right. So this one is something like a cost billion. Right after you tamba the duty, uh, sorry, the Audi will be called a cost billion. Lah. Then your cost billion will add with your inventory hour. These two, you get your cost barang undu dijo. Okay, then you minus. Your inventory IQ. So inventory IQ got lost in 10,930. 10,930. Okay, so this one minus 10,930, you'll get your cost. Okay, this cost Jolan, as I always say it and say it and say it again, is a minus in front there for this one must be bracket also. So you minus lah. So after you minus the cost your land, get 26,430. This is your untung kasa. Okay, now normally when we're doing perdagangan, kita telus apa? Telus macam ni mah, one line double line. Then kita buka account untung rugi kat bawah. Betul tak? Now, sekarang because mereka sudah mix, then we don't need to uh, tutup. Okay, we just have to do this. Then kita beli terus. Because from the account untung rugi, okay, nah, like that. Betul tak? After, uh, for your perdagangan, lepas you get untung kasar, you tutup. Then from the untung rugi, you start from the untung kasar. You have to draw this thing up. So now the thing is, from sini, kita boleh straight away jump to here. Kita boleh cancel this off. We don't have to do this again. So from here, kita boleh terus tambah hasil. Like this. You see? So this is one of the good thing about account perdagangan dan untung rugi lah. Join together lah. We don't have to do separate account perdagangan dan untung rugi. We can save some time. Not a lot, but some. Okay? Then so now you go into untung rugi and see if there is any hasil. 
So my tip is, my tips is always look when you want to look for hasil, always look in the credit side. So this one is Jolan that is a record three thousand a commission. Maksudnya this commission is actually a commission literally. Can you see? Because it is in the credit side. Why? Abalima, brother. Betul tak? The belanja will be in the debit side. Manakala the hasil is always in the credit side. And hence from here, I just focus on my credit, uh, credit side. Because credit side only got a few. So you don't need to go through here one by one. And even you go through here one by one, by looking at this commission, you don't know if it is a commission D terima or a commission D bayar. If it is a commission D bayar, it's a belanja. If it's a commission D terima, it is a hasil. Betul tak? So, how do we identify it? By looking at the site. Which site is it in? So, this 3000 is in the credit side. Credit side is in the hasil. Hence, hasil, this commission is actually a commission determiner. So, only one hasil, I guess. 4,000, this is a ABB. 28,000 is a modal. So there is no other hasil. So we can straight away put here uh, 3,000. Is, is it? Yeah, 3,000. So you add up 3,000, you get 29,403. Okay, after that, you straight away minus your belanger. So what is in your balance? So you just look at the debit side and see all the UR. So gaji lah. Betul tak? Gaji, sewa, you know, gaji is uh, 2,800. So you put here because there are a lot of balance. So you want to add them up first. Then only put to the right column. Okay, you add, put here first. Then sewa, 3,620. Gaji sewa alat tulis. Can you see? You are debit side. Okay. Alat tulis is a belanja. Um, I think it is how much? 140. Then belanja kenderaan. What is the belanja kenderaan? Kenderaan is your vehicle, your car. So belanja kenderaan is like you need to go and repair your car or you buy some accessory, you know, you uh not not to cheat kereta, all these are belanja kereta, kendaraan. All right, 1972. Kereta rosa, you perlu baikikan, oh, this is belanja. Kada bayaran, kada bayaran is all the bill electric, bill IA, bill Wi-Fi, bill telephone, uh, all these are kada bayaran. Okay, so you need to know which term to use while you're doing accounting. Then insurance. Insurance, you don't need, don't need to explain, right? Insurance, you book a business, you book a, uh, you other the other, all this, you, you buy insurance, right? 240. Then commission determinability is a HASU, so so a record. Then uh, blam premise, all these are in PKK, that's it. That's all for your belanja. Then you add them up, put here. You get 9,312. Okay, 9,312. And this is a belanja. So don't forget to bracket it. So you minus. So twenty thousand and ninety one. So this is your untung. Selepas so kasa kasa is for perdagangan. Sekarang this part is your your account untung rugi. So here we call it a untung bersih. Are you guys done for this account belengan and untung rugi? If yes, give me a D in the chat box. Yes, give me a D in the chat box. Oh, fast. Very good. Okay, if you are done, 
you go ahead and do void PKK. Here, I think it's very simple for you. All right, meanwhile, wait. I'll give you some time to copy, to finish this up. I'll give you one minute, okay? Just one minute. Now, for those already that are done, you just go ahead and do B. Your punyata kudutukan ko online. So I think here the top part should have done really right. Okay, so give me some space for me to do the company to go to the Okay, so The rest are you guys done? If done, give me a D. Just want to double confirm. Okay, if done, give me a D. Okay, good, good. C. All right. Okay. So. Yeah. So PKK. So PKK. Straightforward. The format is really there. You just follow the flow. First one must be asset bukan semasa. Selepas asset bukan semasa, asset semasa. Selepas asset semasa, liability semasa. So, it's sudah fix me. Alright, so let's start with asset bukan semasa dulu. Asset bukan semasa. So, dalam asset bukan semasa, then you go and check lah. What are the asset bukan semasa? Premise must be because it is more than one year. The past premise kendaraan, okay, kendaraan, and also the alatan pejabat. Why? Because these three things memang more than one year. Okay, so seventeen thousand four hundred kendaraan thousand six hundred alatan pejabat two thousand seven hundred. All this, yeah. So you add them up, you get twenty one thousand seven hundred. So this is your jumla asset bukan semasa. Okay, after you get your asset bukan semasa, the next thing will be your asset semasa, the current asset. Right, what will be in your current asset? So other than this asset bukan semasa, the rest will be your asset like what two ninety nine. Do not debank. Oh, do bank means bank lah. Okay, you don't go and put do not bank lah. All right, you put bank. Then ambilan bukan modal bukan. Oh, uh, don't forget this one. Your ABT. All right, your account belum terima. So your bank is how much? Ah, huh? your bank is uh, do not bank four eight eight three. Well, my ABT is look at the debit side because why? Because your abalim asset is in the debit side, liabilities is in the credit side. So if this figure is in the debit side, meaning this is an asset and this is a liability ABB. So 14,500 for asset ABT. All right, is there any other asset semasa? You go through again just to double confirm and never forget about your inventory which is outside. And the reason they put here it is outside sometimes is just to trick you. Okay, because most of the time you just focus on this part. Okay, you don't bother to go and check out other part. You just focus here look here 100%, then you miss out the thing outside. So sometimes students will just miss it out. Okay, so make sure you look out just to be careful. You're looking the whole page, not just the middle of the page, the center of the page. All right, so be careful. So inventory IQ. So inventory IQ, take this one, the same figure, 10,930. So you add them up, get 30,330.
13. Okay, so here I put in the ring in Malaysia. Uh, do I have to? I don't think so. Okay, so here the next thing will be your minus liability, liability semasa. So what would be your liability semasa? I think it's just one that I can see for now. ABB. The rest is not. Right? So it's just ABB account belum bayar. So account belum bayar. So should we put here? Because it's just one lah. Satu saja. So boleh terus tolak kat sini. So ABB 4,000. No, oh, sorry. Huh? 500 and... So this one minus this one, put here. Okay, 30,213 minus 4,522, you get 25,791. This is called your model kerja, remember. Okay, this one. More than okay, 25,791. Lepas tu, one line, double line, your jumlah. So, your jumlah equals to 21,700 plus your more than okay, you get 47,491. Okay? Right? So, this is on top part. Then, don't forget about your equity per million. Ke bawah sini. Equity per milik, always same modal. Awal. So, your modal awal is in here pun ni lah. Okay. The modal sini 28,000. You put here. Then, you tambah your untung rugi yang uh, tapat, tar sorry, not untung rugi, uh, untung bersih. Yang tapat daripada account untung rugi. Okay. So, your untung bersih how much here? 20091. 20091. 20091. So you add up how much you get? 48091. 48091. Then minus. Can you see it's always the same process? Okay, the same pattern. Ambulan. How much? Six. Say minus 600. Let's see how much you get. So this is one line double line at the end. Because there is no liability bukan semasa. There is no pinjaman. So you don't need to continue. You can stop here. Then you minus 600. You get 47,491. Same. Imbang. Okay. So this one probably probably is correct. Sudah. Sudah betul. So this one, remember to put modal RQ. So modal awal, tambah all this and minus this, you get modal RQ at the end. So this is your final answer for P. Penyata kedua kawan. Alright. So are you guys done? If yes, you give me a D-O-N-E in the chat box. You got that. Okay, I'll give you some more time. At the same time, I will put down the homework for you to do. Okay, so if you're done, you go to page 174. Do question 34, question 35, question 36, question 37. All right, question 34, 35, 36. 37, four questions. These four questions is all about account berdagangan dan untung rugi and penyata kedudukan kewangan. Alright? I don't care if you are bad in this chapter or you are already master this chapter, you still have to do these four questions. Why? Because the more you do it, the more you will remember. Okay? The format. So, I don't want you to try to memorize. You just do. You just do, 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 do. 
some view you form five, some view you SPM, you still remember the format. Okay, so that is the power to it. Like now, I teach, I, I every day explain, explain, even though I don't do this thing, it's already in my head. Okay, I don't need to go back and refer the format again. So this is the power of repetition. And that's why I ask you to keep doing and doing and doing so that it stay in your head, not just for short-term memory, but long-term memory. All right, have you noted down the, the homework? If yes, you give me a yes in the chat box. And if you've already done this question, uh, this question three, finish all the PKK, then you may leave. All right, then I'll see you in next class. All right, so if you already noted down, then you put a yes in the chat box so that I know, then you can leave.